Good morning, everyone. P. Pardo here. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility, the show here on the channel where we take a look at some of the cool new releases that are coming out in the worlds of progressive rock, all forms of heavy metal, jazz fusion, hard rock, classic rock. We try to take a look at and review as much as we possibly can based on the stuff we get in, the stuff we purchase. You know how it goes. Today we've got a live album that I've been waiting to talk to you guys about for what seems like months. So this is a late 2020 release that uh, it's a live CD plus live Blu-ray. The only reason I haven't reviewed it as of yet is because I wanted to make sure I watched the Blu-ray. I've listened to the CDs countless times, uh, but I finally got around to having an hour and a half to myself last night where I could actually sit down and do nothing but watch Big Big Train Empire. Okay, this is... Uh, Live at the Hackney Empire. Okay. Cool. Hard back, hard bound, digit, whatever you want to call it. Let's take a look at this bad boy here. Um, you got a nice book, just absolutely loaded with information and photos. I'll try and show you as much as I can here. We'll I'll tell you who's in the band and all that kind of stuff in a second. Just want to give you a quick tour through here. Gorgeous stuff. It's almost like a little tour program. Very cool. Yes, that is Nick DiVirgilio right there. Absolutely. We'll get to him in a second. All right. Very cool. Playing in front of a packed house. You got the uh, the two CDs and the Blu-ray all housed in here. So if you're not familiar with Big Big Train, so they are a uh, British progressive rock band that, God, has been around now since 1990. It's like, holy smokes, for whatever reason, I didn't, I have not thought they've been around for that long. It's just amazing how time is flying. So, yeah, 30 years, 30 plus years. I think their first album came out in, what, 90, 94 or something like that. Their first studio album, which was uh, Goodbye to the Age of Steam. And uh, they got about a dozen studio albums, a bunch of EPs. This is like their third or fourth live album. So they've been they've been pretty busy over the years. Got a lot of really good albums. So the band is comprised of... David Longden on vocals and flute. Nick DiVirgilio on drums, percussion, and vocals. Nick, of course, formerly with Spock's Beard. Uh, Dave Gregory on guitars. Okay. Uh, Ricard oh, Schoblum on guitars and keyboards. Rachel Hall on violin and vocals. Uh, Danny Manners on keyboards. And Gregory Spoughton on bass, bass, pedals, and percussion. But, of course, for this special event, you've got more than just the band, right? You've got this whole other group of musicians. Uh, Robin Armstrong on keyboards and guitars. Dave Desmond on trombone and percussion. Paul Hawkins on trumpet and percussion. Nick Stones on French horn. John Story on euphonium. And John Truscott on tuba. So, like, basically, like, a full, like, kind of horn section there in addition to. Uh, two discs. One Blu-ray concert. This is absolutely spectacular. Uh, I have grown to become a fairly big fan of this band over the last couple of years. I, I really only dabbled in their music here and there, like throughout like parts of the '90s and the early 2000s. So it's not like it's the last couple of years I really started to. I've, I've had so many people come to me. It's like Pete, I can't believe you don't love Big Big Train. I can't believe you don't love Big Big Train. I was like, well, I don't really know if I love them or not. I just really have not listened to them enough, right? So I went out and bought. I still don't have their whole discography, but I got a you know sizable chunk of it. And just what an awesome band. And, but you know what? I don't think you can really appreciate just how awesome they are until you listen and watch them in a live setting. So here, this this uh, this particular theater, this was, what did I say, the Hackney Empire. This is a, I would say, you know, like a smallish theater venue. Or it looks like it holds probably like 2,000 people or something like that. Maybe it's a little bit bigger. I don't know. But it's, it's, it's comparable to some of the smaller theaters that we have uh, here, like in the New York area, which I prefer to be honest with you i like that kind of intimate uh you know 1500 to 3000 seaters uh you know once you start getting to 5000 10000 all that kind of stuff it's it becomes that that little intimacy that the band has with the audience kind of it, that that you know doesn't happen right so i i love this type of thing and i love watching uh concerts on blu-ray or dvd where they film it in a smaller place like that you know not not a club it's like a small like a you know an old style movie or opera theater or something like that but here you've got the the two cds covering the show and then you got the full show on blu-ray again as wonderful as their albums are 
here is where you get to really witness the magic that is Big Big Train. And like the name suggests, Big Big Train, this is a, you know, extended lineup of this band. Like I said, you've got, you know, multiple guitarists and, you know, bass and drums and violin and vocals and keyboards and then the horn section. And it's just magical stuff. And so you got some classic Big Big Train tracks on here, uh, you know, Hedgerow. Uh, Wassail is so good on here. Ah, oh, unbelievable. East Coast Racer, Engines and Men. I mean, the final, like, three songs, Wassail, Engines and Men, and East Coast Racer are, like, such moving experiences between, you know, the great vocals and the, you know, wonderful instrumentation, the classic sounding keys and the twin guitars, right, adding all sorts of textures and the horns and the violin. Ah, oh, so good. The Florentine. Brave Captain Voyager. These are all the songs on here. Home Song, Winky, uh, Theodora in Green and Gold, Alive, and of course Novum Organum to kick things off. It's just the music is soaring and sweeping. It's very progressive. There's, you know, you get the Mellotron and Hammond organ and all sorts of synths, right? So if you love the classic prog sound of the 70s, uh, these guys, of course, pay homage to that. But they're, they're, they're much more than that. So even though, you know, you hear little bits of Yes and Genesis and Crimson and maybe Renaissance and Yes and all that sort of stuff. I think I mentioned Yes twice. Um they're they're their own they're very british sounding uh a little bits of marillion i hear a little influence of like uh, hogarth era marillion especially the kind of um melancholy moodiness of some of their songs very melodic uh and just musically so dynamic uh but they know how to write a good hook all of these songs are really memorable and not only are the vocals and the chorus is very melodic. The music itself is very melodic. Like I said, I, I, you, you watch this. It's very emotional, very sweeping, and just you can't take your eyes off these guys. And, you know, the, the, the vocals. I mean, he is such a, uh, such a fantastic singer. I'm forgetting his name already. Uh, David Longden. He is so good. He's so good. You know, he occasionally will put a little mask on or something like a kind of a little nod to Peter Gabriel or something like that, or Fish. But uh, it's very cool. But he doesn't see. He's got a great voice, wonderful voice. And thankfully, he doesn't sound like any of those guys. Uh, he's got a style of his own. And I think the band, though you hear their influences here and there, what I love so much about them is like they really have their own sound. And by utilizing all these different instruments, and you know, on the albums too, there's bits of like folk, you got folk, you like acoustic instruments, electric instruments. It's like this whole amalgam of sound, styles, and textures that's just really, really wonderful. And, uh, you know, over the years, they've often been lumped into that whole kind of like neo prog style, scene, sound, whatever. And I think they're very different from them. Like, they don't sound like IQ. They don't sound like Arena or Pendragon or any of those bands. They definitely have their own thing going on. And it's really wonderful music. Uh, and I was absolutely enchanted. I've been listening, like I said, I've been listening to this for, like, the last couple of months. And I just, I needed that little bit of time just to kind of sit down and watch the Blu-ray. And uh, I, last night I was just sitting there until, like, almost midnight. I was just like, wow, this is wonderful. I would love to go see these guys. Would love to go see it. So there you have it. Empire by Big Big Train. Uh, if you're going to buy a live album, uh, like I said, two discs and a Blu-ray, go get this. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing and enchanting band. Go check out their catalog if you haven't. Uh, I could recommend some stuff. I mean, Folklore is a great album. Uh, Grand Tour is awesome. That's the most recent one. The English Electric Parts 1 and 2 is great. Uh, the Under Full Yard, uh, you know. Grim's Bound. I mean, there's just so many great albums. Really good albums. The early stuff is great, too. So uh, check them out. Big, big train empire. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. So we'll see you soon. We got uh, we got more new product reviews coming up over the next couple days. We got uh, new Lyle Workman. We got new Cactus. We've got uh, District 97. Uh, blasphemous creation for all you extreme metal fans out there. I got a whole stack of stuff. There's so all sorts of things laying around here that I got to get to. I'm going to try and start uh, doing more frequent new product review shows because that's, you know, that's kind of why we do this, right? I mean, that's it's great talking about all the old favorites, but it's it's important to 
bring to your attention uh, some of these cool new albums by newer bands or, you know, new albums by older bands and, and reissues and archival stuff. I mean, we get so much of that in here. So uh, I hate to not talk about that because that's, you know, that's that's what, what drives me, right? It's alerting you guys to cool new stuff that you should, you know, hopefully want to check out. So uh, visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. I think I already said that, but in case I didn't, there you have it. If you heard it twice, sorry. Uh, coming up, like I said, more stuff happening. Uh, and then uh, tomorrow we've got uh, the Monsters Den with uh, Rich Catino, Chris Allo, and Dan Brown, where we're going to rank our favorite George Romero classics. So if you're into zombies and all that kind of cool horror stuff from from one of the masters, the master directors of the genre, um, check that out and don't miss it. And uh, more stuff happening. Well, Chuck Alvarez and I will be ranking the catalog of Weather Report for all you fusion fanatics out there. That's coming up over the next couple days as well, so stay tuned for that. I've also got uh, ranking the albums of the Henry Paul Band by request. I can't believe I haven't done that already. So, uh, Captain Beyond, that's for you, uh, as well as uh, ranking the albums also of St. Vitus. That also should be coming up over the next couple days, so stay tuned for that. And a lot more here on the channel, all right? And, of course, we got next week, we've got uh, Hudson Valley Squares on Monday. A couple cool guest stars for that. We're going to do uh, another one of our... Uh, usually once a month episodes where we pick a year and everybody picks their favorite album release from that year. So coming up on Monday is 1979. So stay tuned for that. Tuesday in the prog seat where uh, some of us are going to be talking about our favorite live albums, right? Prog fusion, prog metal live albums, uh, some of our favorites. So we'll be doing that as well. Uh, we're actually going to have two in the prog seat shows for you next week. So stay tuned for that. And a lot more. I am Pete Pardo. See you later. Bye-bye.